Hey guys, Marco D'Angelo here from wagertalk.com. Got some more sandwich spots for you for week five college football. Let's take a look at a few games here for you. You know I do that sandwich spot segment every week on Bet On It. Well, here are some of the games we looked at that were contenders for the sandwich game of the week. Let's start things off with Lafayette. They're plus three and a half on the road on Saturday. They're on the road at Wake Forest. Now, we're taking a look here. Wake Forest is coming off. Now, granted, it was two weeks ago, but they are coming off playing Old Miss, big SEC top 25 team. And they've got next week on deck, NC State. Looking at a low number here, looks a little easy maybe to grab Wake Forest here, uh, sandwiched in between that SEC game and an ACC conference game next week. Take a look at Lafayette plus three and a half. Next one we're going to take a look at is UAB plus three and a half. They're on the road at Navy. Now, this is a big-time sandwich spot for Navy. They're coming off a monster game last week. They played Memphis, and it was an absolute shootout. Memphis uh, and Navy. Navy got the revenge from the year before, scoring 56 points last week. So you got a Navy team coming off 56 points. Boy, doesn't that look easy to grab them at home? Only minus three and a half. Well, they're playing UAB. UAB was off last week. Two weeks to prepare for Navy. That's a big advantage when facing this Navy team because you're not familiar with stopping the option. Having the added week is a big bonus for a team defensively. And where's the sandwich? Well, they're coming off of playing Memphis the week before. And who do they got next week? Air Force, one of the service academies. That's a big rivalry. This is a horrible spot for Navy. There's only one way to look at this game, in my opinion. If you're playing it, you're looking at UAB plus the points. I got one more sandwich spot for you. Before I do, since you came this far along, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more of these type of videos, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. Give me the like. Also, leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about this, what you want to see more of. We'll see what we can do for you. And I wanted to tell you, over at Wager Talk this week, we've got a fantastic special going. Last week, I told you guys about my 5% I had going. Well, we're now 10-2 and two with those 5% as we won our 5% with the Detroit Lions last Sunday. Good possibility of another 5% this week. I'll have more about that later in the week. But what we do have is you can pick up 90 days of service, 90 days for $849. Now, this is the most exciting time of the year because everything is going on. College football, NFL football, baseball playoffs and World Series, hockey starts in a couple weeks. After that, NBA starts followed by college basketball. Every sport going at one time, you can get 90 days all access for $849, but we'll make it even better. You can pick up a 30-day all access as a free bonus. That's a $299 value added on as a free bonus. 120 days, four months for $849. That's seven bucks a day for all plays, including those big 5% plays that sell for $35 by themselves. Now, this is not just for me. It's site-wide. You can pick up any capper at Wager Talk for this special. All right, guys, let's get to that last sandwich game, and we're going to take a look at Minnesota. They're getting nine and a half at Michigan. Horrible spot for Michigan. They're coming off a big game against USC last week. Michigan, after getting steamrolled earlier in the year uh, at home, by Texas, they came back and handled the second big game at the big house and took care of business against USC. Now you got Minnesota coming in, getting nine and a half. Why do I think Michigan might be flat here? Look who they got on deck. Coming off USC, and next week they go to Washington. Yes, Washington, one of those new teams in the uh, Big Ten this year coming over from the Pac-12. But more importantly, 
Do you remember the last time they played Washington? Yeah, it was for the national championship last year. Uh, so you know, going to Washington, they are going to be looking for revenge from Michigan. Michigan might just get caught looking ahead, heading to Washington next week. So for me, if you're going to play this one, to me, I say look at Minnesota or pass. Now remember, not necessarily telling you to take all of these teams, but I'm telling you about the situations. And if I save you a loser, that's even better than giving you a winner. Remember, a winner gets you one unit. A loser costs you 1.1. So if I save you a loser with one of these sandwich spots, that's profitable for you long term. Hope you liked the video. I'll be back with more of these type of videos. Like I said, leave me a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you want more of, and we'll bring it to you here on Wager Talk TV. Good luck this weekend, guys.